Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Open Day celebration at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, the premier university of African scholarship. My name is Dr. Freddy Munyongane, and I am the academic leader for teaching and learning at the School of Law. I take it that you are here today because you are interested in applying to the University of KwaZulu-Natal and in particular to the School of Law. My task today is to make a case as to why you must consider applying to UKZN School of Law instead of other universities. With five campuses, the University of KwaZulu-Natal is one of the largest universities in sub-Saharan Africa. The School of Law is present in both the Peter Marisbeck and Deben campuses of the university. Let me share with you four reasons, among others, as to why the School of Law should be your preferred choice. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, in South Africa, there is an important body called the Council on Higher Education, abbreviated as CHE. This body oversees quality assurance issues in relation to different academic programs offered by universities. In the year 2016 to 2017, the Council on Higher Education conducted a rigorous national review of the LLB programs offered by all public universities in South Africa. Most law schools emerged with a qualified audit, meaning they were sent back to attend to a number of issues before they could get accreditation. Ladies and gentlemen, the School of Law at the University of KwaZulu-Natal was originally one of the only three universities in South Africa to receive full accreditation. The second point I would like to make, ladies and gentlemen, is that perhaps you will be interested in knowing that most of our law students have received many prestigious awards, including the Fulbright Scholarship, the Rhodes Scholarship, Cambridge Scholarship, and so forth and so forth. So if you choose the School of Law and you work hard and apply your mind, you too could be the next recipient. The third point I'd like to bring to your attention, ladies and gentlemen, is that South Africa's top legal firms actively recruit from UKZN law graduates. I can imagine that you want to strategically locate yourself at an institution where you will also stand a chance of being recruited by the top law firms. The last point I would like to make, ladies and gentlemen, is that if you make a quick survey of some of the key influential positions in South Africa today, you will notice that they are occupied by individuals who have studied at UKZ and School of Law. Let me just mention a few names that perhaps you may be familiar with. The Chief Justice of the Republic of South Africa, Justice Mokhoeng Mokhoeng, studied here. And so did the Deputy Chief Justice, Justice Raymond Zondo. You may also want to know that the President of the Supreme Court of Appeal, Judge Mandi Samaya, was a student at this our institution. The current head of the National Prosecution Authority, Ms. Shamila Batoi, also studied here. Without fear of contradiction, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you that you will find more names at top law firms and other institutions in the Republic of South Africa who have studied at the School of Law of this university. Having made my case, as to why you need to consider the University of KwaZulu-Natal, ladies and gentlemen, let me say a few words about our LLB curriculum. The LLB curriculum is a four-year long qualification completed in eight semesters in total. This means that you will do two semesters per year until you complete your qualification. At the end of the four years, you would have completed 40 modules in total. Our LLB modules are either made up of 16 credit points, 12 credit points, or eight credit points. If we crunch the numbers, ladies and gentlemen, this means that 
For you to complete your LLB degree, you will have to complete a total of 520 credit points. And this translates into 5,200 hours of work over a four-year period. Ladies and gentlemen, law is a reading module. And by this, I mean that law is a reading discipline. Now, to provide you with a soft lending into the LLB curriculum, in your first year at this university, you will be expected to register for four non-legal modules of 16 credit points each. In addition, you will be expected to complete two English language modules of 16 credit points each. This means that in your first year, you will only register for two law modules, namely Introduction to South African Law, which is made up of 16 credit points, and Foundations of South African Law, which is also made up of 16 credit points. From your second year onwards, ladies and gentlemen, you will have to enroll for substantive law modules. I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that four years can be a very long time in the life of anybody. Studying can be hard and lonely, particularly during this time of COVID when our teaching and learning is taking place wholly online. Ladies and gentlemen, worry not. At this, our institution, and at the School of Law in particular, you will receive support. As a registered student, you will receive academic support from your lecturers, from your tutors, from academic development counselors, academic development officers, and from mentors. Further, academic leaders of the different disciplines within the School of Law are also available to assist with curriculum structuring and guidance. In that way, ladies and gentlemen, you will not be on a lonesome journey. The Teaching and Learning Office will be there to assist you with, among other things, how to manage your time. And so will the student support services, which will also assist you with how to manage stress and how to take care of your mental well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope it is evident that at the School of Law, we are not only interested in recruiting you, but have also put in place measures to journey with you to the finishing line. I hope I have made a case, ladies and gentlemen, as to why you must choose the School of Law at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. But having made up a case as to why you need to come to our institution, perhaps on your end, you would like to know as to what you need to bring to the table so that you can be accepted into our LLB program. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very simple. At the School of Law of KwaZulu-Natal, we are not interested in the subjects that you do at high school. All what we require from you are metric points which are not less than 32 credit points. But I would like to advise you, ladies and gentlemen, that it is important that you work very hard because on a year-by-year -year basis, the university reserves the right to adjust the requirements. The higher score you get, the better your chances of being admitted at the university. So I will urge you to work very hard, but I need to emphasize that your metric score points that you get do not include life orientation. With those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to welcoming you at the School of Law of the University of KwaZulu-Natal, and I thank you. Nibona, ikamala mibuzi inklekoza, ngi Puma E Makapeni Township, which is a small township located in the south coast of Durban. I hold a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of Oazulu Natal and I'm currently pursuing my Master of Laws degree at Howard College campus. The purpose of this video is not to convince you to study with UKZN. It's simply to share my experience at UKZN with you guys. So 
I know and I understand that the transition from high school to tertiary level or university is not an easy one. You are looking for an institution that not only aims to invest in your academic success, but an institution that cares about your personal growth and aims to water your intellectual growth. And I feel that UKZN is that institution. UKZN is an institution that rewards good behavior and it also rewards good academic performance. There are scholarships which you could receive whenever you perform well. I remember in first year, I received the Cecil Renard um, Award for good academic performance. And I'm currently the recipient of the Emma Smith Scholarship Award, which um, allows me to study at any university of my choice in the world. Now, there are not many institutions that do that for their students. And I received this award based on my academic performance, but as well as um, the work that I do in my community. Um, UKZN, in a nutshell, is an institution that is based in Ubuntu. They not only inspire greatness in their students when it comes to academic success, but they also inspire greatness in us and inspire us to not only do well for ourselves, to not only strive to change our lives, but to also change the lives of those around us. So if you're looking for a university that cares about you, not only as a student, but also as an individual, UKZN is the institution for you. Once again, this is not to convince you to study with UKZN. I'm simply sharing my experiences with you guys. This is the institution that has helped me um, realize my dreams. Some have been realized and others are still on the road to it. But I can assure you that I have UKZN to thank for that. Uh, my lecturers have been absolutely amazing in my academic journey. One of my lecturers is still my mentor to this day. I still communicate with him and he's actually my Master of Laws supervisor. You will find people that care for you, that will support you, and you will also have long lasting relationships, which is exactly what you should aim to achieve at tertiary level. I'm Dr. Patricia Schuel and my colleague Shelley Donnelly and I will introduce the School of Accounting, Economics and Finance to you, exploring a career in numbers. Firstly, mathematics is at the core of a career in numbers. So whether your dream is to be a CA, an economist, or a financial planner, mathematics is at the heart. Crucial skills are developed in maths. These include creative thinking, problem solving, decision making, logical and analytical thinking, calculation and data analysis skills. Best you love your maths. If you do, then we have many career options for you, supported by the degrees offered in our school. These include Chartered Accountant, Accountant, Auditor, Management Accountant, Economist, Banker, Financial and Investment Manager, Investment Analyst and more. So what do accountants do? Often known as number crunches, Accountants have the interesting job of compiling and analyzing financial information, performing audits, assisting with budgets, working out taxes, and of reporting their findings to management. Being part of the accounting industry allows you to choose from a range of diverse career paths. These include, but are not limited to, a career in commercial and corporate finance, government finance, management accounting, financial accounting, forensic accounting and tax. If being a CA is your dream, then a BCom accounting is for you. But this qualification can also lead to a career in management accounting, auditing, banking or investment analysis. The CA journey is long and quite arduous, including four years at university and three years of professional articles. Our BCom accounting and PGDA are accredited by the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, known as SICA. 
Some of the other accounting careers mentioned are also supported by relevant professional bodies, such as SIGA, the South African Institute of Government Auditors, and SEMA, the Institute for Management Accountants, to name a few. If a BCom accounting is your choice, then it's important for you to know the entrance requirements for the BCom accounting. Your NSC University pass, plus core maths at level five, English and life orientation at level four, and 32 metric points excluding life orientation is what is required. In your first year, you will study accounting, economics, maths, statistics, and information systems and technology. I will hand over to Shelley now, who will explore the economics and finance options with you. Thank you, Patsy. In addition to the BCom in Accounting, the school also offers the Bachelor of Business Science, and we have three programs on offer, Finance, Economics, and Investment Science. This is a four-year full-time qualification offered only at the Westville campus. The matric requirements are a National Senior Certificate with degree admission, Core Mathematics at Level 6, English and Life Orientation at Level 4, and a minimum academic point score of 33 points excluding life orientation. In your first year, you'll also study accounting, economics, maths, statistics, a module of information systems and technology, and a very useful module called Integrated Business Studies. The Bachelor of Business Science will open up several exciting career opportunities for you. If you're thinking about becoming an economist or a business economist, everybody worries about the economy. And economists are the individuals who use their expertise to describe, analyze, and advise government and businesses on a wide range of economic issues, such as tax or wage problems, economic policies, explaining the causes of unemployment and of inflation. Business economists study the ways that society distributes scarce resources such as labor and conducts research into various issues like inflation, interest rates, employment levels, energy costs and imports. They advise all kinds of organizations, banks, industrial and trade associations and unions and agencies. If you're thinking about a career in banking, Bank managers are responsible for the functioning of the bank and the development of new business, be it corporate, retail, or personal. Bank managers need to know something about every aspect of banking. Important characteristics you will need are integrity, good behavior at all times, the ability to understand and enjoy financial matters, a well-developed sense of responsibility, empathy with people, initiative, the ability to work under pressure, intelligence, dependability, good communication skills, and an appreciation of excellent service. If you're thinking about being a financial or investment manager, financial managers are responsible for the financial health of an organization. They can work in the private and public, public sectors, in financial institutions such as banks and insurance companies, and can also be self-employed, for example, as financial and investment consultants, insurance brokers, property consultants, and stock brokers. An investment manager manages an investor's finances and investment portfolios with the aim of yielding and maximizing profit for their clients. Investment managers usually work at large financial institutions, such as banks, trust companies, or life insurance companies. And finally, if you're interested in a career as an investment analyst, investment analysts are responsible for providing vital market information for salespeople, traders, and clients. They analyze financial statements, they make projections, and provide a broad range of analytical and research support to all the professionals within their group. Accuracy is important in the work that investment analysts do, so they must pay close attention to detail they need strong analytical skills to evaluate data effectively. They also need to have good research skills to ensure they have the necessary information to reach informed conclusions about investment opportunities. 
All these necessary skills will be provided in our programs within our school. We really look forward to welcoming you to our school in 2022. Hi, my name is Sana Makaka from Eastern Cape, Matatiel, and I'm a third year BCom accounting student at the University of KwaZulu Natal. I chose this qualification as I wanted to approach the business world in a different manner. I love being a student at GKZN not only because it is rated the second most productive university in South Africa in terms of research output. I chose it because it would open a lot of opportunities for me, not only to be able to study, but be able to explore new ventures within my area. Furthermore, to work with experienced individuals and grow my character as a human being. UKZN has allowed me to build multiple relationships that would help me in future, especially when seeking improvement. I want to encourage you at home, who is unsure of which option or university to go to. Picking what you want to study is a big deal for most students. Making life-altering decisions is never easy. I remember it was, it was extremely difficult for me as I did not have much experience in making such important decisions. Knowing where to start was the toughest part. The beginning was a daunting task, but once I started narrowing down the field, it got easy. Another reason I chose to study BCom was that the job in commerce offers job security, a respectable salary, and a decent annual leave. It was a career that would bring my dreams into reality. I chose BCom because I am interested in having an exciting, fast-paced job life and job and a lifestyle. I did not want to find myself doing something boring for the rest of my life. BCom is exciting as it is a very general degree that covers a broad spectrum of subjects. So when I'm looking for that first job, I am almost certain that I'll probably have many options. Come to UKZN as it offers many opportunities to help build and brighten your future, such as professional guidance, academic assistance, and one-on-one -on -one mentorship. You will never feel alone. Thank you. Greetings and a warm welcome to the virtual Open Day event hosted by the University of KwaZulu Natal. Thanks to our esteemed parents, prospective students, and guests who have graciously accepted the invitation to attend this event, as well as to the event organizers who have arranged for the day's proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Sakile Zonde, and it gives me great pleasure to present the degree programs offered by the School of Management, IT and Governance. The school offers three undergraduate programs, namely the Bachelor of Commerce General, Bachelor of Administration, and the Bachelor of Business Administration. The curriculum for Bachelor of Commerce comprises 10 modules at first year level, eight modules at second year modules, and another eight modules at that year level. The module carries 16 credit points and the total credit value for first year level is 160 credit points, 120 credit points for second year, and 128 credit points for the third year. What are the career options for the students graduating with become generated with the following measures or specialization? For human resource management and industrial relations, Job opportunities include diverse and employment equity managers, industrial relations managers, strategic human resource managers, training and development managers, and many more. For information systems and technology, job opportunities include software architect, software engineer, project manager, and many more options. Supply chain management, logistic management deals with the distribution of products, this includes the physical distribution of transportation of products, customer relationship management, integrated operations planning, warehouse management, material handling, and packing, investment recovery, reverse logistics, and risk sustainability. 
job opportunities include regional demand and planner, procurement specialist or senior buyer, retail analyst, factory supply chain manager, category specialist, supply chain strategy director for management and entrepreneurship job opportunities include management consultant, researcher, general manager, lecturer, business owner, consultant to other firms or strategy, business strategy for organization, entrepreneurship development office, marketing management. In essence, marketing is required virtually by all organizations in order to generate sales, attract customers, and compete in the market Based job opportunities include product manager, brand manager, social media marketing manager, researcher, marketing representative, sales representative, customer relations manager, advertising, retailer, lecturer, and many more other options. Economics. Economics demonstrates a clear and structured thinking that allows thought principles to be applied to many real world social, economic, and political issues. Job opportunities include consultative jobs in the private and public sector, financially oriented career paths relating to banking and insurance, lecturing and research, economist, trade, broker and many other opportunities. Finance. Financial services is the area of finance concerned with the design and delivery of services and financial products to individuals, business and government. Okay, career opportunities include banking, personal financial planning, investments, real estate and insurance. Manager finance is concerned with these duties of financial manager working in a business. Financial managers administer the financial affairs of all types of businesses, private and public, large and small, profit-seeking and non-for-profit. They perform such varied tasks as developing a financial plan or budget, extending credits to customers, evaluating proposed large expenditures and raising money to fund the firm's operations. Budget of Business Administration, or PPA. The curriculum for PPA comprises of eight modules at level one, eight modules at level two, and eight modules at level three. The total credit value for Bachelor of Business Administration is 384 credit points. The first set PPA curriculum comprises business management, economics, communication in business, managerial science, business accounting, computing, business law, and the basic is a Zulu module. The second day PPA curriculum comprises of human resource management, business management, business accounting, information management, supply chain management, and marketing management. The purpose of the Batch of Business Administration program is to broaden the students' knowledge within business framework to develop a better understanding of managerial theory as well as the skills necessary to apply the theory. The program will prepare students to enter into careers in the private sector and public sector. The Batch of Administration or B Admin. The B Admin degree prepares students for employment in the public sector which focuses primarily on rendering services to the public at large. Public service delivery takes place through legislation and other mandates of the government to ensure that the basic needs of the public are prioritized through strategic programs and projects that emanate from their strategic plans. These plans are in accordance with national imperative and the long-term vision for effective, efficient and economic use of public resources. Students existing with degree in public administration are able to pursue the following careers in various public institutions, which included the three spheres of government, meaning the national government, provincial government, and the local government. They may pursue careers in non-government organization and other public entities. The career options include municipal manager, public sector manager, lecturer, 
entry or manager, administrator, and many more options. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm concluding, I hope this video presentation was useful to assist you in making an informed decision on a choice of degree for 2022. Thank you. Greetings everyone, I am Lumvo Selelo Miende. I'm from Ladysmith and I'm currently a third year student at the University of KwaZulu Natal at the Westville campus. I'm doing my Bachelor's of Commerce in Economics and Supply Chain. Why did I choose UKZN? I'm a young woman who understands that to compete on a global stage, one has to be well-rounded. So UKZN was a perfect fit for me because this is an institution that inspires greatness, not only through a culture of academic excellence, but through a wide variety of clubs and societies that not only dominate the nation, but cater to the needs, talents, and interests of each and every individual. Our lecturers and tutors recognize the potential and greatness within us all students and do not settle for less and are always there to help us on our academic journey. UKZN is a platform with many limitless opportunities and networks. I personally have met and networked with many game changers and pioneers of industry through UKZN and Inactus. So to you, prospective UKZN student, this is an institution that is vital for your self-actualization and your journey to your professional career. It is an institution that will mold, shape, and cultivate a culture of excellence. My name is Tabiso Mkonza. I am the first year experience coordinator for the College of Law and Management Studies. I am based on three campuses, that is Westville Campus, Peter Marisberg Campus, and Howard College. I am here to tell you about the BCom Foundation program. This program is separated into two parts. We have the BCom Foundation General and the BCom Foundation in Accounting. This program is very close to my heart because I started the same program back in 2013 and graduated four years later in BCom Supply Chain and Economics. This program has opened a lot of doors for me and I know very well that it can do the same for you. This program is of great advantage to students who do not have any commerce subject but also did not perform well enough in maths and physics to qualify for a science degree. The best part about the foundation program is that it is not a bridging course. What it aims to do is to give an opportunity to learners who come from disadvantaged educational backgrounds, but who have the potential to succeed at university like myself. During your first year, you get to learn a lot of skills that are crucial to your success at university. Due to the reduced workload, our students get to adjust well to the university demands and it also gives them a better chance at graduating within record time. Some of the things that you may learn include but are not limited to academic writing skills, analytical skills, time management skills, computer skills and communication skills. Your first year will give you a lot of confidence and will help you when you get to your second year. You will also get a better opportunity to learn a lot about qualifications offered at university before you get to pick a major at third year level. I should also highlight that at the end of four years, when you graduate, the degree that you get will be the same as the one received by students who, come, who came through mainstream. Our Beacon Foundation team of staff, tutors, as well as lecturers are very supportive. They do their level best to help you achieve your goals. We also offer a first year experience mentorship program, commonly referred to as the FYE, where we assign you a mentor who is also a student and who has been where you are to support you, motivate you, and help you through any challenges you may encounter during your first year. To qualify for the BCom Foundation General, you must meet the following requirements. Your high school must fall under quintal one to quintal three. You must have obtained a minimum of 26 points and you must have a minimum of maths level three and English level four. To qualify for the BCom Foundation in accounting, similar requirements apply. The only difference is that you must have 28 points. 
The program is offered in both Westville and Peter Maritzburg campus. Unfortunately, students who have attended the university or any other tertiary institution, whether in a degree or an access program for, of any kind for a complete semester, will not be admitted to the BCom Foundation General or BCom Foundation in Accounting. Lastly, when you are applying via CAO, I will advise you to include the BCom Foundation as one of the choices. This will help you just in case you do not get the minimum points required to get into mainstream or in a case you, where you get a level three in maths. This will also save you the stress next year to apply for a change of mind and having to wait for weeks before your registration is finalized. For more information, you can visit the UKZN website and also the information is available on the UKZN prospectus. Hi, my name is Pindi. I'm from the College of Law and Management Studies in the Office of Student Academic Services. My function is that of an academic administrative officer. In my office, we do three processes as you prepare to come to the university. We handle applications, we handle admissions, and we handle registration. It's I will start with the degrees that we offer and their requirements. It's very important that you note the entrance requirements because you need to apply for something that you do qualify for. For all our degrees, we do require LO, even though you don't count it in your score at level four and English at level four. The first degree that we offer is business science at 33 points that we require and maths should be at level six. For all of our degrees, you should have LO at level four and English at level four. The next degree is that of Bachelor of Accounting. It's a BCom in Accounting degree, which requires 32 metric points and maths at level five. The next degree is the BCom General degree. Under this degree, you can choose array of spectrum of, of majors from ISNT to economics to HRM to management. For this degree, we require metric points at 30 and we require maths at level four. The next degree is the Bachelor of Administration. We require 28 metric points and maths at level three. The next two degrees are called the BCom degrees in extended curriculum, that of accounting and the degree, the BCom in general as well. The accounting degree, which is an extended curriculum program requires 28 metric points and maths at level four. The Bachelor of Commerce Extended Curriculum degree requires 26 metric points at maths at level three. It's important to note that these two degrees are offered as four-year programs and they, they are offered to people who come from previously disadvantaged backgrounds. The next degree is that that we call the BBA. It's a Bachelor of Business Administration. We require 26 metric points with maths at level three. The last degree is an LLB, which is a law degree, which requires 32 points and maths at level five, if it's maths literacy or pure maths at level three. English for this degree is required at level five, if it's a home language or at level six, if it's a first additional language. Now, the next topic will be how is how do you actually make an application? All applications are submitted through the CAO where you have a choice of six degrees to apply for, not only at UKZN, but to other institutions as well. Please, when you do apply, submit your certified copies of ID and your results. We do require the grade 11 results. Just because you are still doing grade 12, you haven't written your June exams or your trial exams. So please submit your grade 11 results with your application. It actually helps us to make early decisions and as you receive your results throughout the year, you keep submitting them to us and we go back and review your application. Now, when we receive your application on the system, we assess it before and after the final results. Now, assessment takes place as soon as we see results on the system, meaning that your grade 11 results can actually put you at a better spot to actually secure a conditional offer. And that conditional offer can be changed once your metric results come out to a firm offer or it can be taken away if you don't meet the requirements. Now that is all based on your final metric result and your APA score being made. The applications who've sub who are submitted and they reflect that applicants have completed their metric years before 
we do require you to provide us with information of what you have done after you've completed your metric. The next topic I'd like to cover is admissions. What is it that we do during this time? Now, during this process, this is where we assess your application. We look at all applicants who have scored high. So you must always aim high. If you want to do a PCOM in general and it requires 30 points, you must aim for 35 points so that we can give you an early conditional offer which will secure your place early. Now we do use the grade 11 results. I can't stress this enough. We do use the grade 11 results, so do submit them. When you see the status on the system reflecting that we are awaiting results, it doesn't mean that you have not submitted results. It merely means you've submitted results, but they are not sufficient for us to make a decision. So we put await results. Now, every time we change a status on the system, you will receive communication. It comes from CAO and it comes from the UKZN. So do provide us with correct contact details. Your cell phone number must be correct, your email address, postal residential address, all of them must be correct so that we are able to communicate with you effectively and efficiently, timelessly as well. Once we have given you the offer, it will be a conditional offer because you don't have your metric results out as yet, please do respond and accept that offer. This helps to secure your place so that it's not given to somebody else. Once that offer is made to you, we do expect you to let us know. If you don't want to take the offer, that's fine. But let us know if you are taking the offer as well so that we update the system and you will be required to submit documents that will be communicated to you using the SMS and the message that you are going to get when we tell you that you've got a conditional offer. The last process that I would like to talk about is registration. Everything is done online. Even if the university was open for face-to-face -face communication, registration is still online. Now, because registration is online, it's very important to follow the guidelines as they are. Read through, read through the instructions and follow them as they are. So once you accept your offer, we update it on the system, you pay the registration fee and the system will clear you for registration. Now the guidelines will always be sent to you via the SMS. Every time we change the status, we give you an SMS. If we've updated your acceptance of offer, we give you an SMS and it will tell you what to follow after that. Now the process takes a little bit of time because we've got a lot of applicants and there's a lot of things that happen in the office like internal auditing, the data that we put on the system has to be correct. The number of applicants that we have to take has to be correct. Now because of the volume of applicants that we handle, our response is not as quick as we would like it to be. We do strive for that, we do respond as soon as we can. Now there are other of, uh, um, processes that take place in the college office as well that do take us back a little bit because we've got students who are already on the system that also require our attention and help. When you communicate with your officer, communicate with the officer directly. The details are on the website. If you send your email to eight other staff members at the university, that means your officer will receive that same email eight times. So do communicate with the relevant officer timelessly and directly to them. Now that is the end of my talk to you. I wish you well as you apply and we are looking forward to receiving your application at UKZN. Thank you.